Hey everybody, this is Dave from Steel City Joints Flight Academy. Today we are here to start answering some of the questions that you submit to us. So the first question goes, I have a Mavic 2 Pro with a smart controller. I live at the top of a pretty big hill in a neighborhood and I fly my drone to the bottom of the street 2,000 feet away. It's heading downhill all the way and now let's say 20 feet off the ground I hit return to home. If I'm set at 200 feet in my settings, will it return at 200 feet from where it's at or 200 feet where, from where I took off? Because if it's where it's at all the time, it will crash into the street. So, there's a lot of different things that's going on here. Let's hit the equipment side first. So if you have a DJI drone, which you do in this case, like the Mavic 2, you can set your return to home altitude. So if I lose signal strength, and, it, and it's gonna not recognize the aircraft any longer, or the aircraft's not gonna recognize the remote controller any longer, then it will go into what's called emergency come home. If by some chance you're just flying along here and you wanna say, oh, you know what, I just wanna hit return home. In the settings under the Go app, where you set your return home altitude, it's gonna be whatever above the altitude where it takes off. So if I take off right here, it's going to come home to, to come home altitude is going to be set to 200 feet above this elevation. Now let's say we go 2,000 feet out and let's just say it drops 100 feet in altitude. Okay, it's going to then go three because it's 100 feet below where I am right here. It's going to then rise 300 feet. 100 feet to match where it normally was from takeoff then it's going to go two more hundred feet high so then it will then come home 200 feet high right here so that's it's in relationship to where you take off not from where it's currently at now let's go over and talk about the other parts of this so if you're talking about flying 2,000 feet away from where are you taking off? Uh, you're not going to be able to see that line of sight. Just as a reminder, by the FAA current rules and regulations, you have to maintain visual line of sight. On average, with the Mavic 2, you're only going to get three, four, five hundred feet realistic, real line of sight. So once you start going beyond that, and you know, get really going, even a thousand. 1,200, 1,500 feet, 2,000 feet away, you are definitely at now at the mercy of your device, whatever mobile device you're gonna be, your screen, your video feed. And that is not what we go by when we try to do really safe flying. We wanna be able to be maintain line of sight all the time with the drone and have as much of a good ratio for task management as possible. We like to train our students to have a 90% focusing on the drone, 10% on the video feed and or the monitor controls, the app features and stuff, the settings. So when you start going away that far, guess what happens? Now your eyes are glued to your monitor. You're not looking any at the aircraft, which can be a really big problem because now if you're not looking at it, how do you know 2,000 feet away what's going on around the surroundings around that? You know, we've had with the Mavic 2, we can, we've experienced, it's very easy to even lose the aircraft at three, four, five hundred feet away. So if we're up in the sky, we look down for a second, we want to, let's say we're going to frame our camera. Then we look back up. If we have a lot of clouds in the sky, you know, it's very easy to be able to lose it. So we teach and recommend to our flyers to at least get a benchmark of, of exactly where you are, try to some kind of a landmark or reference point that now you can go back up so that you don't lose the aircraft. But you want to make sure that you're trying to maintain line of sight all the time as much as possible. And that's why we also, we don't rely on come home features because come home feature will only work if everything on your system is good. If your position hold GPS system is good, 
then return to home, will come home. But let's say you're out there, you know, where you fly, you take off, everything is good. But as you keep flying around, uh, out further away, let's say the environment changes and you're getting some uh, metal environments or some wireless EMI type of stuff. Now you may have issues and problems with your GPS system. And if that's the case and your GPS system is compromised, when you hit, you hit come home, nothing is going to happen because now it knows no longer where it is in relative to the earth. So be really careful about that. So good question. And I hope those things were able to uh, clarify a little bit. And please, by, like always, keep the questions coming. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.